What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Declasse Moonbeam Custom. Now the regular one and the custom one are both DLC cars that released with the Lowriders DLC update in October of 2015. You can find the regular Moonbeam on the Benny's website for 32000 which is pretty cheap but as to be expected for a van and it has literally pretty much no visual customization so that's probably why it's so cheap. But of course the Benny's custom conversion cost for the Moonbeam is 370000 which honestly is a pretty good deal considering how customizable this Benny's vehicle is. Now the Moonbeam name was first introduced in GTA 3 and it was also featured in Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, and GTA 4 as well which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now, in terms of performance, the Moonbeam is surprisingly in the muscle car class, which is definitely a questionable decision by Rockstar instead of putting it in their dedicated vans class, but anyways, as to be expected, it's pretty slow as most vans are, and it's something you buy more for the customization and not really for the driving. However, it's actually pretty surprising how nice it actually handles, which you'll see once we get to the driving portion of this video. But anyways, in terms of what the Class A Moonbeam is based on, it's primarily based on the first generation Chevrolet Astro van from the mid 80s and early 90s. And of course, the custom conversion is just a lowrider version of that van. So let's go ahead and check out the customization of the ultimate <laughs> Benny's minivan. What are we doing today? All right. We got armor, brakes, chassis, you got bodywork, you have a side panel. Interesting choice there. I mean, I kind of prefer the windows, especially when you put dark tints. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, continuing, we have engine block. Oh, you got a V8 under here. Look at that. Got a sick V8 <laughs> under there. <laughs> okay. So painted colors pretty much changes almost the entire engine model. Actually, it changes the entire engine model. That's awesome. Nicely updated one. Some better details as well. Um, then you got different valve covers, of course. Um, I think we're going to do primary to match. And I think we'll do the uh, I think the painted covers, the regular ones, not the ribbed ones. Okay. Air filters. Got chrome air filter twin in the ramp pipes. Um, I guess... We'll do the chrome air filter, guts, hey. engine tunes, exhaust, chrome tip exhaust. Okay, I I guess <laughs> custom minivan stuff. Why not? Just make it crazy. Okay, chrome grill, uh, billet grill. Oh, I don't like that one <laughs> to cover the lights. Um, I think the chrome grill is good. Continuing hydraulics. You want to upgrade all this? You can. I guess we'll do the. That one, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Interior. Wow, look at all the options here. That's insane. Okay, trim, trim design, interior color, and custom interior. Oh, look at that. It's this nice, like, center console, too. See from the outside. Oh, yeah, look at that. With speakers and everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, extreme dash. Oh, boy. Okay, interior color, extreme dash. And then, oh, then primary color version of those two. Interesting. Wow. That's, um... Do you need a drink? Okay. Bubbles I mean, might as well do the extreme dash, you know, make the build crazy. Why not? I think make it primary color to match. I think that'd be kind of funny. Um, bring that interior color into the car. Might as well. All right, let's do that. Trim color. Oh, oh boy. I think we'll do white or something. Uh, and other than the like, usual black or tan, um, might as well do the ice white. <laughs> really bright in here. Uh, ornaments. Oh, if you want to do the bobbleheads, you can choose one of those. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a minivan. Why not put something fun in here? Um, 
I don't even know what to put here. <laughs> there we go. Infinite Rage. Why not? Okay. Dials. How many cars you got in this garage? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, let me see here. I'll right, we'll do the circular. Why not? Uh, doors. Got. Okay. Door panels. All the different. Just adds a bunch of speakers. And the last one is like a full on custom. <laughs> Extreme door speakers. Oh my gosh. Might as well. I mean, that's, I think that's like the fun of this is just to make it crazy. So let's do that. Might as well. But it doesn't match, does it? Oh, is that because our secondary is. You can think it, I don't even I know. Do. Our secondary is. Uh... Ooh, custom leather seats. That's sick. Definitely. Looking good. I don't even know what to. It's like. It's. It's brighter. Oh, I see. I see now. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I want to do the this one here because, if not, this the extreme door speaker is linked to our interior color. But then we did our dash in primary, so I, I don't want to have that difference there. So we'll keep this one here. We already did that steering wheels. If you want to change that, um, might as well put this one. Maybe the resto mod one or something like that. Yeah, I think that's a good one for this. All right, resto mod. Why not column shifter? All these different versions here. I mean, I usually like to go with the lucky dice. I don't know why I like the lucky dice, but we'll do, <laughs> we'll do that one. Uh, plaques. Um, I don't know about that one if I'm being honest. I think I'll skip out on that. Or maybe Benny's plaque. Maybe Benny's neon. Ah, oh, let's do it. Whatever. Like color. Um. I guess this will hint towards what we're doing for the exterior color. Let's do like a surf blue there. Uh, lights. Xenons, why not? not Liveries. You got gold stripe. Got different pinstripes there. You got the retro. Oh my gosh. Red retro. Bring back the 90s. Oh my gosh. Blue fades. Pure geometry. Oh my gosh. And the pure graphics. This is the insane one. I think we're going to do the gold what pinstripe. Okay. Continuing license plates. Oh, so it's a plate holder. Definitely a low and slow plate for this one. Not a fast vehicle by any means. And the front plate. I mean, we're already repping Benny's with the vanity thing, so why not? Why not just put that too? <laughs> Benny's on there too. Um, right, license plate. I don't even know what to put for this. Uh, I don't even know. What are my plates? I don't think any of my plates kind of work for this. Ah, oh, there we go. Re <laughs> Anything on there. All right. And then black background. Perfect. Uh, roof. We got roof rack. And then we have roof extension. So I guess this is like more if you're doing it for like a, a build for like a camper or something like that. Um, what that does is it gives more headroom inside. Uh, but... Obviously, as you can tell, it, it doesn't it doesn't change it in the inside, so kind of makes no sense. It's not a ski box; it's supposed to be an extension for more headroom. Um, so I'm not sure on that one. I think I'm gonna skip out on that one to keep it a little bit like lower looking. Um, I might do the roof rack though. I don't know. I feel like the roof rack makes it look too non-custom. I don't know. No roof rack on there. It kind of hides our pinstripe too. Tailgate, spare wheel. So there you go. More of the, the camper style modifications with the ladder and the spare tire and all that. Um, okay, transmission, trunk. Ah, here we go. More custom stuff. Speakers. Oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> all right then. Um, geez. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do the because this one kind of blocks our uh, our side windows. So there's like some panels there. Um, I think I'll do the premium, this premium wall of sound, turbo, wheels. I, I honestly don't even, I think I'm going to put spindles on this, honestly. I don't even know what to put on this, um, this custom van. I think spindles will work fine, maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> 
I normally don't customize vehicles like this, but you know, quirky little quirky van muscle class thing. Um, what? I was just throw spindles on it. Black. There we go. Okay. Uh, windows. Limo. Why not? Oh, and that's all the options there. Okay, let's paint it now. Primary color metallic. We're going to do a metallic dark blue with okay, ultra blue pearl. Um, and then our secondary, we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do the same, if not white. Not sure how that would look. Let's try that. Actually, the secondary is a bit more prominent on this than the. Uh, hmm. I wonder how it would look the other way around. Let's try that. Let's do this really quick and see. Uh, dark blue. That looks pretty good the way it is. That looks really good like that. Let's see how it looks really quick just with this and ice white. Yeah, it looks a little weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't really work. Yeah, the all blue I think looks perfect. With the white and the blue two-tone seats, that's sick. That came out great. I'm actually pretty happy with this. <laughs> this is pretty nice. This is not bad at all. Okay. Uh, trim color, we already did all this. And your cribblem goes on the hood if you're wondering. All right. Let's take it for a drive. The magical moonbeam exits a ground. <laughs> All right, let's rev it up a bit. Wow, I, you don't really expect that from a minivan. Sound actually sounds pretty good. Modified, I mean, it, it, it sounds pretty decent. All right. Well, this thing is in the muscle class, so something I've always wanted to do. Do the wheelie, let's see. Oh, it did it a little bit. <laughs> Acceleration. Moving pretty good. It's going, it's going. It's actually not that slow, to be honest. It's, it moves pretty good. We're maxed out right now, top speed. take a corner. I'm afraid to take a corner in this. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I did not expect that. I've actually never had a moonbeam in GTA, so... <laughs> actually, I think... Wait, I think maybe when Benny's came out, I did customize one, but I sold it right away. Because <laughs> back then, we, you know, we didn't have much storage for personal vehicles, so there's a lot of other cars I preferred back then to take up one of those spots, but... Corner here. <laughs> it actually handles pretty good. It's, it, I expected it to have a ton of understeer and body roll, but it actually doesn't. It's 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 pretty good. Look at that. I mean, wow, that's not bad at all. It it really isn't. Let's try the wheelie on a flat surface now. Well, mostly flat surface. There it goes. <laughs> You don't expect that. Okay, let's try the hydraulics, and let's see if we can get a bit more of a wheelie like that. I, I doubt it's going to do it, but let's see. Nope, doesn't allow us to, unfortunately. Because with that, we'll be able to do a nice big wheelie. What about all the way up? Nope, the suspension just... <laughs> does not allow us to. Unfortunate. We'll lower it again. Alright, not, not too bad. I think it's a pretty cool vehicle. Ah, the beauty of this. Up, and then we can go over these steps. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. And then boom, slam back down again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not bad. This is pretty cool. Nice, like, super custom, kind of pit my ride vibes minivan. Low rider thing. And of course, you can control the hydraulics here. Um, and let's open all the doors. See? And let's start it to. There we go. Oh, I didn't know it said with that livery moonbeam on the valve covers. Oh, wow, I'm actually glad I chose the smooth valve covers because with the ribbed ones, the name would have looked really weird there. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. This interior, these seats, they need to offer these seats for more cars in the game. Like, this needs to be a seat option for, for most of the muscle cars in this game because that looks really good. That's a nice looking seat. I um, mean, the white with the blue came out great with the blue dash and all that. 
Um, not bad at all. I'm actually pretty happy with this, <laughs> all things considering. And of course, you get the sliding doors. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. This is so cool. First person, let's get out. <laughs> and how does it look when we get in first person? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wow. Very, very, very quirky vehicle. I feel like Doug now, but an amazingly quirky vehicle. I think I think it's very, very cool and something everybody should definitely, you know, customize and experience customizing. Um, wow. Very, very cool. If they put it on sale or something, I'd recommend getting it just to mess around with it and then you can sell it afterwards if you don't like it or whatever. But I think, you know, trying to make some crazy build with it or something you have visioned in your mind, I think is kind of fun to do with this. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.